Hello everyone, my name is Vos Jozef and I am Mr. Musette. I am a digital and traditional freelancer illustrator from Romania and in my free time I experiment with traditional art mediums and create art and illustration related videos here on YouTube. If you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. For this week, I wanted to prepare a totally different illustration for this video, but because of my lack of time and I didn't want to miss out a video from my channel, I decided to show you how I painted last year this red illustration inspired by the Chinese horoscope. Also because past some time since I painted something on my channel with acrylics, I told myself why not to edit this footage from last year. Even if in the meantime I am still running my Universal Horoscope series here on my channel. So yes, this will be another illustration series which I will document here on my channel, but for this I will take my time because it takes more time than usual to create an illustration, especially because I create it with acrylics. And last days I was thinking about this series and because one of these kind of paintings takes me a lot of time, I was thinking that maybe some of the illustrations from this one I will paint with watercolors as well depending on my mood and my time. So if you are following my work for some time, you know that I get most of the time inspired by different cultures and folklores. So the Chinese culture is no exception. So a little bit about the Chinese astrology. Chinese zodiac animals have lucky meanings. Chinese people associate each uh, animal with certain characteristics. It's believed that people born in a um, given year have the personality of that year's animal. Each zodiac animal's year comes around every 12 years and each year is associated with a zodiac animal. So 2020 was the metal red year starting from January 25th and lasting until February 11th, 2021. In 2021, we'll follow the year of the ox. The year of the red is the third zodiac sign in the Chinese zodiac cycle. The 12 zodiac animals are in order. Red, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog and pig. The rats are resourceful and smart but lack courage. With rich imagination and sharp observations, they can take advantage of various opportunities well. So people born in a rat year are thought to be wealthy and prosperous. In Chinese element theory, each zodiac sign is associated with one of the five elements, wood, fire, earth, gold, which is the metal, and water. For example, a wood rat comes once in a 60-year cycle. Men born in a rat year are very curious, so they tend to try their hands at anything and they can deal with tasks skillfully. Due to a lack of courage, as well as good command skills, they are not capable of being leaders. Opportunistic and picky as male rats are, they do not have broad minds but take a narrow view of things. Women born in a rat year are pretty, smart and lovely. They have quick minds and dexterous hands and are able to learn anything. 
Most compatible zodiac signs with the rat are the ox, rabbit and the dragon. The rat and ox have complementary characteristics and will help each other in their work and home lives. The rat and dragon will have a good relationship and support each other. Couples including a rat and a rabbit will get along well and be happy. Least compatible zodiac sign with the rat are the horse and the rooster. The lucky things for people born in a year of a rat are the numbers 2 and 3. Lucky colors are blue, gold and green. Lucky flowers are lily and african violet. The lucky direction are west, northwest and southwest. Unlucky numbers are 5, 9 and numbers containing them, unlucky colors yellow and brown, unlucky directions south and southeast. I will leave the link to the source information for all of these to check it out by yourself if you are interested in that and also if you would like to check out what kind of animal are you based on the year in which you were born. And after that, let me know in the comment section what kind of animal are you. So as art materials for the illustration, I used some paper for acrylic paints, acrylics, the basic ones from Liquitex, Stadler pigment liners at the end, and a white Posca pen to add the white stars in the background. The technique which I use to create these kind of paintings are quite simple but very time consuming. First I plan out the illustration with a pencil. After that for each section I came in with a watered down base of color and after that I start to build up the shapes with highlights and shadows. I really like how this illustration turned out and how elegant this character is and also I like the colors which I used in the final illustration. What do you think about the end result? If you like this illustration as much as I do, please give it a like and also let me know about your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching, see you next week with another art and illustration related video. Until then, do not forget, life is a song, illustrate it.